A lot more driving today, and I was really sore from yesterday's workout. And I come home, and the spa decided not to work. So I was like, what better way to enjoy the spa than to put over 150 pounds of ice in it? So we'll see how this goes. In the cold spa, it's actually not as cold. I wish the temperature gauge worked. It's cold. But I think I needed more ice. So the water was about 70 degrees in this hot tub, just water pool thing, and our heater gave out. And it's pretty cold now, but honestly tolerable. I'm not shivering yet, which is kind of what I wanted. But cold shock therapy is really good to engage your body in fat loss. And you may be wondering, well, how, how does that happen, George? How, how does your body lose fat when you're expo exposed to cold? Well, the way that happens is through a couple means. First of all, it takes more energy for your body to stay warm than it does to cool it off. So as you know, you sweat because your body is overheating and this is a cooling mechanism and that burns calories or energy and that energy comes from fat. Well, the same happens when you put your body into cold. Your body wants to warm back up and compared to heat therapy, it, it takes more energy to warm your body up than it does to keep it cool. So sitting in a cold spa will actually jumpstart fat loss and burn all that fat right off your body. Now the reason I'm doing it is because as the, in the beginning of the video I said I was quite sore and I sat all day and although I did train today, I really wanted that anti-inflammatory effect of the cold shock therapy. Now I might need more ice but it still feels nice. I'll stay in here probably longer than I would if it was much, much colder, but it's great. Now, that's just a little tidbit about cold shock therapy, but what I really want to talk about is the extreme importance of food. Food is the best supplement for you. It can be the quickest way to pleasure and success, but it could also be the quickest way to pain and disease. Food is delicious and nutritious, and it needs to be picked with the most wise choices in order to optimize your results. Now when I first started lifting, I just thought eat as much as I could. I just thought I would eat everything possible. I was just trying to gain weight. I was eating milkshakes before I went to bed, a pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, which is oh so delicious. And I gained weight. I got to the heaviest I ever was my sophomore year, which is 204 pounds. I was heavy. I was thick, I was holding a lot of water weight, my body was inflamed because of the lactose, and unfortunately, I wasn't actually that big. I looked big, but most of it was water weight. And through time, I learned that in choosing the right food stuff, such as more vegetables, clean proteins, less greasy saturated food, fat with no nutrition, such as ice cream, and replacing that with nutritionally dense items, having a better, bigger breakfast, ensuring that I eat high quality proteins and organic meats, that I lost a lot of weight. I got down to my current weight now, which is fluctuating between 180 and 185 pounds, but I am much bigger now, and I, of course I know that through measurements and time. But not only time, I said time, but not only did, was that a quick transformation in two years, but this body transformation and journey of mine has been a 10 year process. I started when I was 13 and here I am almost 23. This August will be the 10 year anniversary of me starting weight training and it honestly just takes time. So eat right, pick the right choices. Of course check out my ketone videos for options of eating. I'll be putting up some new videos of me making quick meals because I know when I was in school the hardest thing for me was getting a good, healthy, nutritious, high protein breakfast before class because I never had time. I would try to get as much sleep as possible and I'd be making eggs and bringing them to class which I would definitely recommend. Eggs, which is a quick tidbit about eggs before I go, but eggs are like 80% absorbed. They are the highest protein absorptivity of any other proteins, better than beef, better than chicken, better than fish, and it has to do to, it's due, excuse me, it is due to the amino acid complex of the eggs. I'm like shivering now, yeah, this, it does get quite cold in here, which is good, it's nice. However, it has to do with the amino complex of the eggs. Eggs contain all of the essential amino acids, making them a complete 
protein. However, they also contain a bunch of non-essential amino acids. And it's not just those essential amino acids that you need because they're labeled as essential. It's the exact blend of amino acids that comes packed in an egg that makes it so beneficial to the meat body. So that's all I have today. I love you all. Thank you for watching my ketone videos. Stay tuned for some more great content. Leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe. Adios. And as you may know, there are two forms of stress. There is good stress, also known as eustress, and there is bad stress, negative stress, also known as distress.